Here's what you'll see in this episode. We're done. We did it. We did it. Ta-da! <laughs> Jade and Joyce Garden Tour. Yay! Okay. Take it away, Ready? ladies. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> you wearing flip flops? Hope you know that. Infest our garden with your feet. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen. Today I want to tell you about Freedom School Community Garden. We transform this space from overcome with weeds to an efficient and productive and beautiful place to grow lots of food for the community. I want to tell you the story of this garden, why we transformed it, and then I'm going to share a full tour of the garden so you can see what's going to be grown in that space this season. First, I need to back up just one second and tell you a little bit more about the Extreme Garden Makeover series. I had this idea to help people get in the garden, transform their spaces, and create more efficient and beautiful spaces to grow food in. A year and a half ago, I started my first garden, and I knew pretty much nothing when I entered into that world. Over the past 18 months or so, I've learned a surprising amount when it comes to growing food, designing gardens, and how to efficiently create a garden space. I learned a lot because I did a lot of research, I spent a lot of time talking to people, so I wanted to be able to take that knowledge that I acquired in 18 months and help people get their own gardens going or get their own gardens in shape with some new knowledge and tools and skills so that they can grow more food in their spaces. Freedom School Community Garden is a community garden in an urban environment and I knew it was a perfect space to transform because they already had so many of the components of what was going to be an amazing growing season. And really they just needed some manual labor and some vision for how to make this space productive this year. The community garden feeds a lot of people in the community. It feeds students that attend summer programming there, parents and grandparents of the students attending the school, community members who are passionate about the school and the work going on there, and also the produce will be sold at the corner store that is connected with the school. So here's where I came in. I took a vacation day from work and I spent the whole day at the Freedom School Community Garden kind of guiding the operation and also providing a lot of manual labor to get the garden from covered in weeds to productive and full of future food. So the first thing we had to do was get rid of the weeds.
with a lot of help, a couple of hours later, the space was pretty much weed free. And it's probably about a thousand square feet of outdoor growing space. So to take that space from full of weeds to ready for planting was kind of a big ordeal. After a long day of weeding, we got to work with planning the space and deciding where we were going to plant things. So we started by planting some starts that were purchased at a local greenhouse. Most of these were green cabbage and I started by creating some mini raised mounds to be able to make it clear where the walking paths were and where the planting spaces were. Now where we live in upstate western New York, we get a lot of rain so the raised mounds in the garden also helped increase the drainage of the garden. Time for my rue apron. This is my rue apron. It's got pockets oh, I where, like that. where I put seeds, so then I don't have to worry about like putting in my pocket. Oh, yeah, you look so professional. Yeah. <laughs> seeds. What do you got? I have no idea. She just handed it to me. I think cabbage, right? Yeah. Cabbage. Yep. Yeah. Cabbage. Do you like cabbage? I love cabbage. Do you like How about I be the recorder that can move around? I actually love some Do you want to be our camera person? Yes. Go for it. Here. Cabbages, eggplants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think like, these are fingerling eggplants. There, oh, there's two different packs. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's put them. There's plenty of room actually right there. Eggplants. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let me hook up. Um, let me hook up the water. Yeah, let's water the rows before we plant in them. Okay. So she's about to be the waterer. We're gonna see inside of here. So these three rows will be basil. So what we're gonna do the basil, we'll take it out of here is kind of, see how this is kind of naturally breaking apart into mm -hmm. a couple of different clumps? Break that into, we'll bake this into like a couple of different clumps. I love it. I know. Next time I come to your farm, I'm going to bring Tando with me. Please. Yeah, do it. Love it. She, they've got chickens, they've got the funniest looking chickens. <laughs> they've got like, they look like muffin creatures. they got like furry heads. Oh my gosh. You know, basil and mint smell amazing. It was. So we planted our cabbage, we planted some basil that had been started in their greenhouse, um, we direct seeded some herbs, and even direct seeded some okra. We also spent a lot of time getting the tomatoes in shape by putting cages around them so they weren't all over the place, weeding around the tomatoes, and I did a little bit of pruning as well to help increase the airflow so the plants were less likely to get blight early on in the year. Guess what, it's starting to rain. I was just talking about how it's pretty rainy here in uh, upstate western New York, so proof of my words. <laughs> you know it's sweet at first, then you hit the dog. It's so sweet! <laughs> It's weird. Have you have you tried them before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, to me, it's got a really strong flavor. For all of it does at the end, but at first, the first bite. Then it hits the throat. But it's like almost like you want to keep eating it. You know, it's like super good for your gut. Gets rid of all the uh, what's it called? Parasites. It helps. It helps, it helps your colon. Yeah, your garlic colon is process. really good for your colon. Uh -huh. Colon cancer preventative. On YouTube, you know you can say anything. People can believe it. Oh yeah. Garlic is good for your colon. <laughs> <laughs> eat, eat your garlic scape. <laughs> These statements have not been like validated or approved by FDA. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been approved by us. Mahmoud, come my friend. So I tell your story. Why are you so experienced doing this? 
Well, talk to me. Yeah, talk, talk to Jen. So you can tell the camera. Yeah. So I did in my country, and I had a guardian in my country. What country is that? I'm from Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. Awesome. And you guarded in Afghanistan. Yep. You That's had awesome. your own family garden. Yeah. And you're good at it. Yeah, it was good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. That's I, awesome. I still have it on there, and I have here too. Oh, cool. What do you grow in your garden here? Here I have a tomato, I have garlic, I have a soft flower. You're wearing flip-flops, help you know that infest our garden with your feet. I'll bring my healthy soil to your healthy soil. <laughs> After spending a lot of time getting the transplants in the ground and getting things direct seeded, um, we had a couple more things we wanted to plant. We wanted to get some pole beans in the ground and we also wanted to plant some mini watermelon because the kids at Freedom School love watermelon. So we went ahead and we set up four mounds to plant the watermelon in. Mounds are nice for watermelon because it gives them something to trail um, and it also again increases the drainage. We got the watermelon direct seeded and then we worked on the beans. One of the community members had a really creative idea of taking tomato cages, turning them upside down and using them as bean teepees. So we simply took a tomato cage, turned it upside down, used little U stakes, pounded them in the ground to hold the cages steady. and then we planted the beans around the inside of the cage and then the plan is, is as they grow, they'll hold on to the cage and grow up like a teepee. Once we got those in the ground, we also had another big project to work on and that was laying the path down the middle. Um, the guys here help me get them, some of the kids, so I'm gonna take them back for another load and we're gonna put them down in the middle here. Um, this was an idea that we had to add some beauty to the space, also to make it clear to children where they can walk and where they can't. We've had a lot of instances of kids stepping on plants and killing seedlings, so we really wanted to make sure they knew where their walking path was and that they weren't supposed to walk on top of the plants. So we went ahead and found some leftover pavers that were at the school. The pavers weren't the best shape for walking, so we had to take two and put them together in order to make them big enough so that they would work well in the space. We laid down the pavers, a lot of them down, a lot of manual labor for those because they were pretty heavy. And then we took some wood chips and we mulched around the pavers and tried to mulch around some of the already established plants like tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, zucchini plants, and the wood chip mulch was actually picked up from here at the Sunshine Farm from our driveway. Mentioned that we had some extra and so we came and got a truckload and brought it over to the Freedom School. After we were done with all of that, we gave all the plants a good watering and then we did a little tour for you guys so we can show you everything that's going on in the garden and give you an idea of what's to come. You said let me tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made and then you tell me how you've been. Without further ado, here is the Freedom School Community Garden. Joyce. <laughs> Jade and Joyce garden tour. Yay! Okay. Take it away, Ready? ladies. Okay. What's this? Mmm. <laughs> so we got some mint growing. Yeah. All around the border of the entrance to the garden. We have our beautiful path. Yeah, the path. So, there? so what's the story of the pathway? 
Uh, well, we have these extra pavers, and then Jen came up with this wonderful idea <laughs> of doing a whimsical path through the garden. <laughs> and this is with a lot of help. From basil. 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 Look at that. Okay. <laughs> basil or basil. And then here we have some cilantro, which looks a little sad right now. Yeah. But it might perk up. And then next to the cilantro, we have other herbs. We have thyme and oregano planted. Yes. And parsley. And parsley. Parsley sage. And arugula. And, thyme. and arugula. Oh, where's the arugula? Arugula is next to the cilantro. Oh, I love arugula. Um, cabbages. Yes. Red cabbages and white cabbages. They look very happy, actually. And then over here, we have eggplants, a variety of eggplants, regular eggplants and fingerling eggplants. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Look at the yeah, tomatoes. Do we have any tomatoes actually yet? No. Nope. Um, some baby ones. Like, I saw a little guy over. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's a baby tomato. Look at this <laughs> little guy. These are going to be the big tomatoes. And okay. And over here we have. I know that that's beans. <laughs> beans. She definitely so, knows what this is. Some green beans in here. Yeah. And then what's going on over here? <laughs> Garlic. Garlic. And the scapes are going to be picked soon, right? Uh -huh. Yes, actually we'll pick some today and send them home with people. Uh -huh. So they need to come off. Well, that lovely garlic. Yeah. Oh, and then over here. Uh, this is watermelon. Okay. Watermelon. We got some four watermelon hills. That will equal like 40, right? Yeah, <laughs> they equal 40. Over here, I don't remember. Okra. 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 Yeah. Do you like okra? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you like okra? Yes. Okay, we're yeah. on film. Is that okay, Naomi? I like the okra. <laughs> and and over there is more herbs. More herbs. Okay. Beans. Whole, whole peat. Beans. Whole, whole beans. beans. Yeah. Whole and beans. and we use upside down tomato cages as whole bean teepees. So yes. that was your brilliant idea. Ta-da. <laughs> and along the fence we will have more sunflower seeds. Oh yeah. More sunflowers sunflower. all along the fence. There's one. There's one leftover. volunteer. Our mustard greens. Mustard greens that are very happy. Yes. Much happier now. Yeah. I think we're going to put, uh, I'm going to see if I can get some collards to put at the very end. Yeah, collards. Good idea. Collards at the end there. And then over here we have our cucumbers. Cucumbers. Which we, which they are looking much better now that we mulch them. Look at that. Yeah. It's funny because we started these the same time we what, started the ones inside. That are, the ones inside that are climbing. Yeah, because yeah. it's just the heat. They love the heat. Yeah. But they, they, do, they look so much happier. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Yes. And then and yellow squash and zucchini. Zucchini, yes. perfect. So that's it. That's there our, we have it. That's our garden. That's the garden. And this is our fence. That's our garden. That's the garden. But there's some words that I just wanna say. To put it all straight before this night turns into day. And then I'm on my way. And then I went back about a week and a half later to see the progress in the garden and get some footage for you guys to show you guys what had come up. I'm on my way And I'm very, very happy to say that just the other day I was back at the Freedom School Garden and I picked the world's biggest zucchinis. 
as well as lots of green beans, even a few tomatoes. So there's lots of stuff growing in the garden, lots of cucumbers coming in, a ton of zucchini. The watermelon are all sprouted, the green beans are starting to climb, the teepees, all the sunflowers that I planted are coming up, and everything's just doing phenomenally. So I'm really happy, and I really think that taking some time to get those weeds out and make the space functional and efficient really helped the plants get established and made sure that the weeds weren't competing with them. We're done. We did it. We did it. Ta-da! Hey. <laughs> Long you day. A good day of work. Yes. I'm definitely going to go lie flat on my floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting what? A cold shower and then laying down. Yes. Yeah. Flat somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here's a little sneak peek of the next episode of Extreme Garden Makeover. Hey! Hey! Good let's, to see you. Uh, let's start your, your garden. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I'm excited. salad with all my lettuces because I've never actually done that so it'll be really exciting salad and then I can add my toppings with cucumbers and just be a whole salad just for my garden which is pretty cool to say. <laughs> 